G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel. I've just finished developing my 1949 expired ANSCO 620 type film. Yes, I just recapping, I shot the film in this old brownie camera made in the 40s or early 50s. Brownie 620 Model C it is. And this film expired September 1949. So yeah, 13 minutes in Caffeinol C Delta, 5 minutes fixing, and guess what? This film makes pictures. Have a look at that. 65 year old expired film, still holding up images. And they're, and they're quite crisp and look very nice. Yeah, that's the... Uh, photography club that I'm joined to um, the, the majority of the members of the group I ask them if they want to do a um, get a shot on old film and they all agreed yeah this is a shot me backyard um, rain pouring down and everything it was a pretty dismal day yesterday yeah this is a shot of um, the gas silos in Port Kemble at the Port Kemble Steelworks. This is a shot of the lighthouse. And a shot of the boats in the harbour. And going up further, um, yeah, that's the hotel out at um, out Shell Harbour Beach. This is a shot of, um, of the little harbour with boats in it. Out Shell Harbour Beach. And this is a... Uh, Shiba Beach and the caravan park up in the background. Now, this film, of course, has um, deteriorated significantly over time. Um, there is um, a undesirable texture running through it. It's kind of like a rough-looking tram line. Probably notice it there, um, as you can see. You know, um, near the where the palm trees are, there is a a rough looking tram line, um, well, that's what I call it anyways, um, yeah that's uh, due, I think the film probably got stuck to the backing paper or something, or something to do with the, maybe the, there was a chemical reaction between the film and the backing paper and, and hence uh, did significant deterioration, sadly it's kind of ruined the lighthouse shot pretty bad, but, oh well, Nonetheless, I'm ecstatic that this 65-year-old expired film makes pictures. That is just fantastic. Yeah, I'd, I exposed, the, I exposed um, the, this film uh, from one second to four seconds in my brownie camera. Um, yeah, I went, I mean, it. I used the bulb setting, which I had to sort of count the seconds, like going one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, for Mississippi, <laughs> that's the rough counting I did. Shoe fly. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, these shots here, I did them at three seconds. Three seconds. Uh, the uh, photography club I, uh, members, I did that at four seconds because it's a bit shady there. And this was in dismal weather, by the way, rainy weather. Now this one's done at four seconds, I think, or three. This shot here, I did it at about two seconds and these last two shots I did it at one one second because the sun came out yeah I was told one second for um, old film like this uh, from the 40s would would yield de decent results and the photographer suggested was totally right it could probably be, be some like overexposure perhaps um, or wonder exposure I don't know um Probably overexposure, maybe, but I, don't know, I won't know until I scan this film and and uh, invert it and digitally enhance it. But anyway, for now it's just sitting here drying up on the rack, and I am uh, totally looking forward to when it dries and when I scan it in over me makeshift scanner, which is my overhead projector, which I lay the film across. Across there, I've got um, diffuse lighting uh, from the projector and the plastic piece and a bit of paper below. Um, 
Yeah, and I put my mobile phone camera on there and scan it in and by photographing the film while it's with light shine from it through it. It does a good job, good enough job. I've done that with my other 120 and 116 type films. Anyway, what can I say? I am absolutely pleased. I was told that Ansco films yield very bad results, but this one came up quite nicely. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. This is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out.